Well, the stage has been set for elections moving forward in Canada, and unbelievably, the ones most surprised about this whole thing are, well, the Liberals themselves. Trudeau's popularity hitting new lows. <laughs> Global News reporting here, Trudeau's popularity plummeting close to rock bottom as 68% want him to resign. New polling done exclusively for Global News by Ipsos shows Pierre Polyev's Conservatives holding a comfortable lead, while a majority of Canadians think it is time for Trudeau to step aside. <laughs> it's been time for him to step aside for some time now, and I don't think he's going to. A very stubborn man in that regard anyway. Conservatives win longtime Liberal stronghold. Toronto St. Paul in shock by election results. Stunning results raise questions about Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's future of course this was a an, an unbelievable one and this is a liberal stronghold for over 30 years and well they just lost that to don stewart now leslie church she was uh christian freeland's right hand ma'am in uh <laughs> seizing seizing the assets the bank accounts of canadians during a protest against their uh policies but this is, I digress on that. The Liberals' poor showing in a stronghold like this could prompt some soul-searching for Trudeau, who has seen his popularity plummet as inflation, the cost of living crisis, high home prices, and surging immigration levels drive voter discontent. You don't have to look very far. Look in the news. It's happening. Canadian inflation higher than expected. Hey, they were just praising, they were patting themselves on the back for low inflation numbers uh, largely because they've just fixed the numbers, as I've been reporting on the channel. If you don't like how they measure inflation, well, change how they measure inflation, and then you'll get great numbers. But it doesn't affect uh, what's actually happening. It, it, it prices are still going up. That's just the that's actually just the effects of inflation. Inflation is the monetary supply uh, being increased, uh, printing new money, uh, <laughs> issuing new currency. That's how it happens. If you want to hedge your bets on this, you can go visit our friends over at New World Precious Metals. Uh, in fact, I'll leave a link up in the corner with a card there of a podcast I did with Bryce Wade of New World Precious Metals, talking about why you would even want to invest in gold, silver, that kind of thing. Why is that real money and why you might want to protect yourself that way? But go check that out. Link is always in the description down below. Christia Freeland uh, with the COPE, um, unbelievable, asked just straight up from reporters, uh, do you even have a chance moving forward? With the Globe and Mail, um, Deputy Prime Minister, can the Prime Minister still stay on to lead the Liberal Party into the next election? given that you just lost one of the safest seats in the entire country last night? Yes, he certainly can. Can you explain why? Because everybody we're hearing from behind the scenes believes that the result last night means catastrophic losses across the country. If you cannot win in Toronto under Justin Trudeau, why should, he, why should anybody believe you can win anywhere else under him? Our government is focused on working hard for Canada and Canadians and on delivering results for Canada and Canadians. That is what the Prime Minister is focused on. That is what we are all focused on. The Prime Minister is committed to leading us into the next election, and he has our support. Well, we've all seen those results and what they've been bringing to us, but <laughs> unbelievable. It's amazing to see the, that reporters are actually asking these hard questions. Uh, it does look as though Trudeau in an election will lose massively. And that's just the way the polling has been going. And it's it's reflecting the reality on the ground. And we're all happy to see that, obviously. Cat Canada <laughs> putting this one up. Trudeau, big, sad, lost, uh, Libs lost a 30-year stronghold in Toronto last night. He says he intends to bring tangible, real pro progress that Canadians can see and feel, obviously, with the meme face making your voice heard. Now, this was obviously not the result we wanted, but I want to be clear that I hear people's concerns and frustrations. These are not easy times, and it's clear that I and my entire Liberal team have much more work to do to deliver tangible, real progress that Canadians across the country can see and feel.
Well, what's that tangible uh, progress that people can see and feel? Well, what are they saying on Twitter? Um, yeah, proudly pro-choice. They're bringing up the abortion debate again, <laughs> of course. Uh, share if you're proudly pro-choice, it says. So I shared it saying the party that brought you mandatory vaccination. They're very pro-choice uh, in some regards. Uh, again, this is just a political game because what are they actually bringing us? Uh, the Taxpayers Federation is reporting on what they're actually bringing us. Taxpayers Federation warns new streaming tax will make life more expensive. What? What is this about? Well, it turns out the government is working to make sure that they can tax another thing, another aspect of our lives. The Canadian Radio and Television and Telecommunications Commission announced it's requiring online streaming services to contribute 5% of their Canadian revenues to support Canadian broadcasting systems. That's right. They're going to tax YouTube. They're going to tax Netflix. Hulu, whatever your streaming services that you use, they're going to tax them in order to pay, you guessed it, the CBC, CTV, Global News, all these things that are out there trying to promote the liberals. These obligations will start in 2024, 2025 broadcast year and will provide an estimated $200 million per year of new funding. According to the CRTC, this is very reminiscent of Pablo Rodriguez counting his chickens before they hatched with Bill C-18, which just ended up leading uh, <laughs> the companies to get rid of news in Canada on their platforms. They really don't know what they're doing. They have no clue <laughs> uh, what, what the result of their actions are going to be. And you can see just by what they spend the money on. And, well, Naya Fanner still had a whole thread on this, and it was fantastic. The dumbest thing, the, liberals gover the liberal government gave $3 million in tax dollars to an NGO to help promote justice and community security in Syria. Did you know that Syria is designated a terrorist state? Yeah, they gave money to a terrorist state. This is crazy. Remember these posts when you hear the liberals say Canadians need to pay more taxes. And when I say posts, let's get into some of these. <laughs> she kept going. $20 million to tell people of Ghana not to poop on the beach. That's right. This is where your tax dollars are going while we are having a hard time affording just basic necessities here in Canada. What else are they giving out? $20 million to uh, help women and girls get a doctor in Congo. You get in line with the Afghans. That's right. Uh, bloody hell, uh, have to do a thread on these. It'll be a never ending thread. $10 million to girls' sexual and reproductive health in Mozambique. Well, let's see what else they got. $300,000 for LGBT rights in Colombia. $7.5 million went to reduce gender based violence in Nigeria. Uh, have you ever been to Nigeria? Yeah, the money went to tribal warlords. And the list goes on and on and on and on. But this is exactly where we're at with this in Canada. Your tax dollars being spent on everything except maybe the things that Canadians actually need. And again, this is why I say perhaps you want to protect some of your investments. Uh, get over and probably uh, purchase some real money as this is all going up in smoke. Uh, the Canadian dollar is going up in smoke, of course. Now, love to hear what you guys think of this and everything that I talked about today. Where do you think the next election is going? We're probably not going to see one until 2025, but do you think that they're going to pull a rabbit out of their hat and win the next election? Or do you think this is going to get handed directly to Pierre Polyev? Or do you think it's going to go somewhere else entirely? Let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, we'll see you in the next one. Keep on tracking.